Mutual funds are known to be an excellent investment. Crores of people invest in them every month for long term to meet their goals and grow their wealth. But what you might not be knowing is that mutual funds are a great option to achieve regular income as well. Hello and welcome to our channel 5 Minute Finance by ET Money where we talk about the basics of investing and personal finance. In this video, we'll tell you how you can generate fixed monthly income from mutual funds. So to get regular income from mutual funds, you need to understand the concept of systematic withdrawal plan or SWP. So let's get started. Simply put, SWP is the opposite of SIP, Systematic Investment Plan. In SIP, you invest a fixed sum on a fixed date at regular intervals in mutual funds. So just the opposite. In the case of SWP, you can withdraw a fixed sum on a fixed date at regular intervals from the mutual funds. So when you invest through SIP, units are credited to your account. But when you do SWP, units are deducted from your mutual fund account. Let's understand with a very simple example. Meet Sridhar. He has been doing a monthly SIP of 10,000 rupees in Nifty 50 index fund over the past 20 years. If you look at the returns generated by Nifty 50 index fund from UTI mutual fund, it has delivered an SIP return of 13.25% between August 2004 and July 2024. So he has accumulated a sum of 1.04 crore rupees. The graph on the screen shows the growth in his money. Now, after 20 years of investing, Sridhar wants a monthly income of 50,000 rupees or annual income of 6 lakh from his accumulation. For practical reasons, we can assume that his monthly income requirement will grow at the rate of 6% every year due to general price hike, that is inflation. Now, a few assumptions here. Number one, Sridhar will continue to remain invested in the UTI Nifty 50 index fund. Assumption number two, the fund grows at 12% per annum. Now let's understand how SWP work. So Sridhar has accumulated 63,530 units of UTI Nifty index fund. Now units here mean, just like suppose you go to the market to buy apples for 100 rupees and suppose you get three apples for that money. So we can say you got three units of apples. Similarly, when you invest in mutual funds, you get units of mutual funds coming back. So we did some math on Excel. Now look at your screens. So Sridhar's monthly income requirement is 50,000 rupees, which comes out to 6 lakh rupees for the first year. Now this requirement continues to grow at 6% for inflation. So next year he will need 6 lakh 36,000. Then in year 3 he would need 6 lakh 74,160 and so on. Now for the sake of simplicity, we have done the annual calculations and not monthly. Next, look at the price of the mutual fund. In simple terms, the price at which you purchase mutual funds is called its net asset value, NAV. Now, as assumed, we have increased the NAV by 12% every year here on Excel. So currently, the NAV of UTI index fund is 164.18. So at the end of first year, it will be 164.18 into 112%, that is 183.88. Similarly, in the next year, it will grow to 205.94 and so on. Now, if 6 lakh rupees needs to be withdrawn annually, we'll have to deduct an equal amount of units from the total of mutual funds that Sridhar is holding. Currently, he has 63,530 units of the UTI index fund. So at the end of first year, units will be equal to amount withdrawn divided by the NAV of that fund. That is 6 lakh rupees divided by 164. This comes out to be 3,654 units. So it will be deducted from total units. At the end of the first year, 63,530 minus 3,654 comes out to be 59,875 units will be left. So every year units will be reduced. But remember that the remaining units will continue to grow. And as we have assumed, the UTI index fund will continue to grow at 12% per annum. It is unlikely that Sridhar's accumulated corpus of over 1 crore will be exhausted in the next 25 years. Remember, this is just an example. The idea is simply to show you how SWP works with a very simple example. In our case, the fund is growing at a constant 12% every year. But in reality, it may be impossible that the markets never fall in such a long period of time. Now, suppose Sridhar wants a higher monthly income that is exactly double. So if Sridhar takes out 12 lakh every year, all other things remaining the same. His corpus would last only for 11 to 12 years. So if you want to withdraw a higher amount, you'll have to increase the accumulated corpus. 
This calculation will also help you to determine your retirement corpus. You can do back calculation. Like suppose you would want a monthly amount of 50,000 growing at 6% inflation every year for say 30 years after retirement. So what should be your retirement corpus so that you don't exhaust your funds and live a comfortable retired life? So this was about getting a regular income from mutual funds through SWP. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share the video with your friends and family as well. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.